Hey guys, it's Reaper again. I have a quick video for you today that I think will help you take your screenshots and MX bikes from looking like this to this in no time. I have about four tips for you with a really cool bonus tip at the end of the video that I think will really help you in getting some of those cinematic clips, not just screenshots. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's jump right into it with my first tip, and that is to get the right camera angle for the screenshot. This is a really simple concept, but I think it's worth mentioning. Let's say you throw a fat whip, but you don't know exactly the angle that you think will look best for the screenshot. What I do is I will go into the replay mode and I'll slow the clip way down by clicking this button down here or by clicking two on your numpad. While the clip is in slow-mo, I will change my camera over to free roam and I will slowly pan around the bike and rider in the air while it's moving super slow to find the best angle. Now that we have the best angle, I think it's really important to change the FOV or field of view scale of the camera to get the best possible shot. The way to do this is to open up your settings and go to the input three tab, which is your replay camera controls. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see two options, FOB open and FOB closed. Set those key binds to whatever key you want. I personally use C and V, but that's, that's just personal choice. Put them to whatever you want. Now that we're back on our clip, you're going to want to adjust the FOV to get the perfect amount of background in the screenshot. I find this really useful if I don't want any trees or buildings or whatever in the background. I just want the rider and the bike in the skybox. So if I want that, I'm going to crank the FOV so it's super zoomed in and it crops out any unnecessary background noise and just gives me the perfect amount of zoom for the screenshot that I want. Now that we have the perfect angle and zoom distance on our rider, let's snap a screenshot of this. You can do this a few different ways. I use the, the really simple snip and sketch tool from Windows. There are a bunch of different ways, but this is just the method that I use that I really like. Cool. Now that you got the screenshot, you may be thinking, Reaper, that is surely the end of the video because you just wanted to teach us how to get screenshots. Well, lucky for you, a little duckling, I have more. You see, MX Bikes has pretty terrible colors and contrast in their game, so the next step will help you out a ton in making those screenshots really stand out. You'll need to open up a program that allows you to do some color correction on an image like Photoshop, GIMP, or in my case, Affinity Photo, which I think is a billion times better than Photoshop. Hashtag not an ad, but it should be. Now that we're in our photo editing program of choice, let's adjust a few things. Typically, I will adjust the brightness levels up a bit as well as bringing the contrast levels up a bit. Also, I will typically bring the shadows down a bit darker as well as bringing the whites up to make them a bit brighter. The real money maker though is with the vibrance and saturation. This really helps the image pop and brings a lot more life into it. Be careful not to overdo the vibrance and saturation, otherwise it'll end up looking like this. But if done correctly, your image should look way more realistic and way cleaner. Hey, remember that bonus tip that I said earlier? Let's jump into that real quick. My bonus tip is for getting some crispy cinematic shots in the replay mode. And that's by double tapping the period button on your numpad while you're in free roam. This will lock the camera to the to the rider and keep the rider centered in the screen while still allowing you to move your camera wherever you want. This is super helpful and can create some awesome footage for YouTube videos or Twitter clips or just to send to the homies. Anyway, guys, I hope your screenshots are looking way more mint now. And now that your screenshots are looking better, you can send some more to your buddies looking like JS7, or you can take those screenshots and level up your thumbnail game for YouTube. Whatever it is, I hope it helped. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!